He has fever. He is listless, and his pulse is rapid. But what's going on inside, shown here black hexagons, have infected his body through the bloodstream. The germs are repelling these amoeba white cells whose work it is to remove foreign materials from his blood. The white cells cannot dispose of them. But under stimulus of the germs, tiny particles called antibodies are being produced and poured into his bloodstream. The antibodies attach themselves to the germs and so change the germs that the white cells can engulf them. At first, the germs increase faster than the antibodies. If this continues, the patient gets steadily worse and may even die. Usually, however, as in this case, antibodies are produced faster than they are used up, and it becomes only a matter of time until the germs are all disposed of and the patient recovers. What's more? He now has a surplus of antibodies that will aid him to resist future attacks of the same disease. And so this child has what we call active immunity because he has developed his own antibodies. He has acquired this active immunity by actually having the disease. 